Right. So you didn't Beautiful. fancy skating on then? No. <laughs> That I, <laughs> I usually need to come down a hill. OK. <laughs> on this you show, it is normally own... downhill. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you do all your own stunts, though, don't you? Yes, I feel as though I'm doing one today. <laughs> 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 all these stuff, ladies that I'm... Oh, no, you can relax. It's just like sitting around a kitchen table. It's OK. All With a load good. of old witches. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're not. We're lovely, I promise. I promise. I'm so excited to meet you because obviously you've done everything. You're so talented from musicals, musical films, Hello Dolly. I grew up as my favourite musical ever. Cornelius Hackle, put on your Sunday clothes. I could be here all day. They're going to tell me to shush. <laughs> but, um, and obviously, some of the, you have in Phantom of the Opera. And now you're doing another, another show. The Go Between. Yeah, the Go Between. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And are you loving it? Really, really loving it. It's it's uh, it's different from anything else I've done. Twelve years of age when you got into the business. Yes, with the English Opera Group, and wow. I, I was a boy soprano. I wasn't necessarily very good, but I had a quiff. I had this quiff, which I I now have back again for this part because <laughs> it's in the fifties. Gone uh, full circle. I'm in the fifties. They're in the nineteen hundreds. So it's a very interesting piece. Well, and we have to say, Stacey and I went to see it oh, this sorry. week. Oh, lovely! Absolutely Fantastic. loved it. And I do have to say, what what is so Fascinating. One, you don't leave the stage. You're there all the way through. But I thought that the standout performance was the young boy that, that we, we just showed the, the clip of there. He's, He's stolen your thunder. No, it's, <laughs> no, it's extraordinary. If he wasn't extraordinary, mm. it wouldn't work. No. Yeah, he, so, and he you really stand back great. and watch this boy. Mm. There, we have three, William, Luca and Johnny. It was and, Luca and, the night that, that we went well, to, to see it. he's absolutely wonderful. Yeah, it, it's a, it's They all a, are. It's really emotional as well, yes. and um, oh. everything that we've ever known you for yeah. is always quite light-hearted and funny, and this was a really powerful, emotional play, and I really enjoyed that and appreciated it from you as oh, well. that's lovely. It was wonderful. Michael, you've been away for a while. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have, I have to ask, I was saying you have been away for a while, and as somebody who suffered with chronic fatigue syndrome myself and M.A., um, I have to ask you, I know that you've had it, or you battle with it, or you manage it. You know, how, what got you back on stage? Um, I, I think it, it's, it's something that medically uh, has not been explained yet uh, sufficiently. So there no. are thousands and thousands of people suffering from ME. I can't be a spokesperson no. for it, but what happened to me, I got something like the flu, and it never went away. Yeah. It was just that. And I became, I lost myself and I lost my enthusiasm. And, <laughs> and the people that I speak to, this is exactly how they describe it. They lose uh, what I say to people if, if I do speak to people who, who have it, is that you have to find yourself again. Yep. Find you yeah. inside this person that this illness is turned you into. It's, it's almost like your light's gone out. Yes. Your little spark's that's gone out. That's yeah. a very good description yes. because yes. you, you don't on. have that life. I'd wake up in the morning at, at, at eight o'clock and I'd think, uh, it's a new day and you're alive. Yeah. Uh, and then uh, you get to about 12 o'clock and the day would finish. Yeah. And that's not a good feeling. And Especially for when you a, perform and you give so much. Yes, but children. There yes, are so many children yes. that have it. And imagine being a child and feeling that at 12 o'clock your life is, mm. there's not much. But, Michael, you've said day. you can't be a, obviously a spokesperson. And Martina and I have discussed it because yeah. it's something that we've actually both experienced ourselves. So we absolutely empathise with you. Um, how did you, in your personal experience, how did you turn it around? Well, I'm, I was in a fortunate position where I was able to go away and I'd been, I'd been touring really the world singing and I one of the places I'd been to was New Zealand mm -hmm. and it was the most beautiful country I'd ever visited and I went back there and I found somewhere to stay and I've still got that place and I go back there quite quite often did but you my life changed yourself and you were more yes. peaceful I I did things that I, I I took away the pressures that I was under when I felt unwell, the, yeah. the, the, and we you allow, we allow all of us as we grow up. It's a, it's a wonderful thing getting older because it, it, about getting aging that you do become a little more wise about yourself, yeah. about ourselves, and and so I knew that I had to change my lifestyle, yeah. and so 
I went away, I read for the first time in my life, because all through our lives, we're too busy. We're too busy to, to read a book. Mm. We're, we're, what's next? Oh, I've got to pushing be in the theatre by... Yes. All the yes. time, pushing beyond your limits. Yeah. And so you rested, you paced yourself, you've got a little bit better, and then what made you decide to throw yourself back into a... It's so brave. Well, I never thought I would not. I, it, it's not as though I'd gone away and retired. I, it's been said, oh, I've made a comeback, but I, I really haven't been anywhere. I've just been a little quiet. <laughs> 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 I've been on holiday, yes. Yeah. Uh, no, it took about four years, I would think, three or four years. Yeah. But then I got my enthusiasm back, and, and I mean, I did Wizard of Oz, but la mm. the, the, begin the end of last year, I was offered the chance to do sport relief, yes. to do... Frank and Betty with Michelle oh. Dutrice, my And you turned my it down so there. many times over the years. Yes. But in but the, this special one, occasion, you yes, said yes. I thought we can raise... Uh, was that with Bradley Wiggins? Yes. Yes. Well, that was, yes. The, that was the hook for me, where they said we, we could finish it at the velodrome with Bradley Wiggins. And I thought, roller skates and a bike. And <laughs> <laughs> The, you know, the boy in the 74-year-old came out and I thought, oh, that's a, yes, I want some of that. I'm so nearly finished, we've got to do this. I've got to ask you, it's cheesy as hell, I'm so sorry. You've got to give me a new Betty. Ooh, Betty. <laughs> <laughs> The, the, the go-between, it is on at the Apollo Theatre um, from, from now until the 15th of October. We've loved having you on the show today. It's Michael Crawford. Thank, Thank you. you. Just click here to watch more interviews with a whole range of famous faces. And click here to subscribe. It's free, so you'd be silly not to, really. <laughs>